<laughs> Welcome, everybody. And there's a reason we are playing that song. Holly Sidden is filling in for <laughs> Tiffany today. Tiffany was at opening day yesterday and then watched the Badgers game late into the night. It's a tough loss today for the Badgers. Really bummed, but they had an awesome season. They did. I wore my Badger red, even though they lost, because that was a fun bandwagon to be on. I'll that tell was. You. I know. It was amazing. I know. They had a great season. All right, we are going to get right into things today. First up, dating. Right now, more than 50% of adults in America are single. In 1950, that number was only about 22%. More than double. That's more unbelievable. Double. Singles have taken over despite the big rise in online dating. So today we are talking to a dating expert. Sean Alderton is the founder and CEO of Affluent Amore Matchmaker. She is the only professional certified matchmaker in the entire state. She joins us for a chat. We're super excited to see you. Hi, Sean. Hi, how are you? You. Good, and you're just launching your business, right? Yes, I'm very excited. That is super exciting. Let's talk a little bit about what it means to be a matchmaker. What does that mean? I help people find love and bring two people together that would normally have never met. And the goal is basically a long-term relationship or marriage. So and commitment's import an important part of it. I only work with commitment-minded people, correct. Okay. I've tried to set people up before, and this clearly takes training because <laughs> I failed miserably. <laughs> what kind of training do you have to do this professionally? Well, I graduated actually from a certified matchmaking school. It's located in New York. And as a certified matchmaker, you are seen as a professional by the board. And also, you have to follow a standard of ethics, and you have a very high quality of service and care that's basically required. They actually give feedback um, to all of my clients, and there's an exchange of information. So, it's, it's, it's kind of a network, right? Yes. Like you're in touch with other matchmakers all over the country. Exactly. Who have your same skills and uh -huh. expertise and the same training. Okay, so um, that's probably an important part. You've, you've actually connected with some that are famous in New York. People yes. might be familiar with some of them. It's great. Actually, I have relationships and connect with hundreds of matchmakers all over the United States. And there's several internationally too. And basically what we do is we exchange information and that way I have access to not only their females, males, but everybody um, for my clients as well, all over. And that basically ends up generating a really large network pool. And so it really helps find the perfect match for everyone. So how yeah. is being a professional matchmaker different from an online dating service? Well, basically an online dating service, it's pretty much just a quality lead generator, nothing more. Mm -hmm. Matchmaking basically helps you avoid all the dishonesty. I'm mm. sure for anybody that's done online dating, you've got a lot of deceptive information out there. And pictures. Yes. A lot of, you mm -hmm. know, because people use a picture from when they were 20. Exactly. And now they're 40 and they look a little different, right? I mean, yes. that's a way that people deceive other people in the dating world is with the photo. Exactly. And you have people too that are married and they're posing as single. And it's just basically a wasted time goes on and on with people just going on dates that aren't a really good match. And so it's really a nice way to save time. Mm -hmm. So who is your ideal client? Well, basically, the only people I work with are successful men. Really? Yes. Well, you, it seems obvious that that would be the best way to go. Yeah. But why do you <laughs> choose to work with only successful men? Well, for years, actually, I have met so many single women that are incredible. They have so much going for themselves. And I've heard a lot of stories of frustration of how they can't meet a decent guy. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to do something about it and help them. Mm -hmm. And basically, I know that there are a lot of great guys out there. They're just not hanging out in the bars. And let's just face it, I feel that women basically are attracted to men who are passionate and really are confident. And that's the bottom line is women want successful men. Yeah, so that's my focus. That confidence, there's something to, to probably be said about that because women who meet a guy who's got a lot of debt who doesn't have his stuff together, who maybe moves from job to job to job, yes. isn't maybe the ideal life partner. Exactly. And you're not interested in just having people date, but find a true match, right. to find long a term. love connection, long term. I like that. Um, let's talk a little bit about um, your your kind of your journey, because I know you have a degree from Marquette. You're mm -hmm. very a successful um, recruiter. How does somebody like you give up a successful career like that to become a matchmaker? Well, I think for me, I just reached that stage and that point in my life where I really want to make a difference. Mm -hmm. 
and I just feel that I really want to have an impact, something positive to offer people. And basically, I guess with my experience, I just know that at the end of the day, when we all reach those last hours of our life and people are reflecting on their life, I think all that comes to mind is love. It's who you've loved, who's loved you. To me, it's the absolute most important thing. It's all that really matters. I so love that. Talk, I do too, that's so altruistic. Let's talk about the fellas now. Why do men need matchmakers? Mm -hmm. They need help with a lot of things, <laughs> but why do they need True. matchmakers? True. Okay. Don't get me started. Okay, basically, <laughs> there's a lot to say on this, right? Typically, most of my male clients, they work around the clock. They're super busy with their jobs mm -hmm. and they're traveling. And basically, a matchmaker really saves them a lot of time. That's really the main advantage. Um, also, they really want somebody on their team that understands them, listens to them, and is very non judgmental. And they appreciate, too, just the complete confidentiality that's offered. And safety is no longer an issue either because there is a very strong vetting process and also with all the ID checking. And so they can basically just focus all their energy on just enjoying the date and having fun. Because you do all the work for them. Exactly. So who's the perfect woman? Who's your, your target? Because you have a database of women. Mm -hmm. who, who are you looking for to, 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 to connect with these successful men? Well, basically, there are age range groups. For men, it's from 30 to 75. I love um, that, that you go all the way to 75? Yes, definitely. That's awesome. OK, what about the women? And women, it typically starts about 25 to 70. And the membership is for six months also. And basically, it is just for everyone can apply through, obviously, the website. But not everybody gets accepted into the group. I love that. Really quickly, because you have a, a referral bonus to anyone who connects a man with a Affluent Amore, um, they receive a $25 referral bonus. Um, that's something we're going to mention again in just a second. But I want to get to some of our fun rapid yeah, fire questions. All right, so what's the biggest mistake women make on a first date? They bring out their ex. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. What's the biggest mistake men make on a first date? I would say they talk too much about their jobs. They need to focus on active listening. Listening. What's the biggest thing, or what's the best thing a woman can wear on a first date? I would say a flattering dress. It really should be feminine, something a little sexy. I would just leave the business suit and the pants at home. What about kissing? Is it okay on a first date? Definitely. Definitely it's okay as long as you're attracted, but I would definitely let the guy initiate. Okay. What about sex on a first date? Well, you know my attitude. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. You've just Absolutely ruined. not. You've just ruined the relationship. Really? Yes. Okay. That's a no-no, everybody out there. And lastly, should a man always pay in a first date? Absolutely. Always. Okay, so you're in the more the traditional. Yes. I like that. Okay, Me too. so here is the information so that you can get in touch with. First, though, I got to give you a sound off question because we posted this on Facebook in honor of Sean being here and launching her business today. What's the biggest mistake you've seen someone make on a date? Go to our Facebook page and let us know what you think, and we'll read those a little bit later in the show. Again, the biggest mistake you've ever seen somebody make on a date. Again, that referral fee offer. This business just launching today, Affluent Amore Matchmakers, $250 for anyone who refers a man who becomes a client. A client. So ladies, join Sean's database for free. Meet successful, commitment-minded men. Guys, you can be one of Sean's clients and meet the woman of your dreams. Again, there is that $250 referral fee. If you refer a man who becomes a client, you can find out more about Sean and her services, which also include image consulting and dating coaching by visiting our website. It's affluentamore.com. Congratulations to you. Thanks for joining us Thank today. You, it was Thank fun. Thank you. Thank you. We